Hey guys, it's Mike Chen here in St. Louis, Missouri. Just got back and to be here for the next couple of weeks. Been looking for more food places here in St. Louis. And today going to a pizza place that many claim is the best pizza in the country. Better than New York. I I'm gonna go see about that, but they're only open like, I think a couple days a week. And before heading out, big thank you and shout out to Grammarly for sponsoring this video. So obviously I, I run a few YouTube channels. I've been using Grammarly for scripts I've been trying to write. This is a new show I've been doing. It's an animated show talking about different myths and legends of iconic foods around the world. As you can see here, I, I really can't spell. I, I, my grammar is pretty bad. I also use it to write emails. I've been working on a project that people actually invested in. So uh, I want my emails to sound formal and professional and not full of mistakes. And I use Grammarly Premium, so I just finish writing and let it go in there and just sort it all out. So as you can see on the right, the red lines are spelling, grammar, punctuation, Blue indicates clarity, green engagement, the purple indicates your delivery, your formality. It also has a tone detector, basically telling you how whatever you wrote sound to the people reading it. So Grammarly is basically an all-in-one writing tool, way more than just spell checking grammar. Also, Grammarly has a free version with basic and grammar spelling suggestions, or you can upgrade to Grammarly Premium, where Grammarly checks your clarity, your engagement, your tone, and Grammarly is free to download. It pretty much integrates everywhere, like Gmail, Slack, Discord. So if you want to give Grammarly a try, go to the link down below, grammarly.com slash Mike Chen to sign up for a free account and get 20% off Grammarly Premium today. Like I said, I used to write a lot of scripts for my YouTube channels. So amazingly helpful. Alright, I'm gonna go film and check out this pizza place and uh, enjoy the video. Hey guys, it's Mike Chen and welcome to the Dubai Mall. This is the largest mall in the world by total area. It has over 1,200 stores. It's got an Olympic size ice rink, the largest indoor aquarium. There's a hotel here. There's a theme park here. And my personal favorites, over 200 restaurants here. It's morning right now, I just came in. So for the rest of the day, we're gonna explore and we're definitely gonna eat. Now, I have no idea where I'm going in this mall. Just kind of gonna wander around. And, but this whole section is the soup. The interior design is to mimic like a local traditional market. So you got a lot of textile shops, a lot of jewelry shops. Oh, oh my goodness. Is this real? Oh, it is real. Holy moly. Oh, this is a real fossil of a Diplodocus longus. I don't actually know that, I just read the sign. Discovered in Wyoming. Oh, here it is, the aquarium. Wow. Oh, there are some sharks in here. And right across from the largest aquarium in the world, the largest candy store in the world. Freshly made candy, it's raspberry. Mm -hmm. Camel milk chocolate, tried this before, this is awesome. An indoor waterfall and there's people diving. This is an homage to how Dubai was started. Back then a lot of people made a living as pearl divers, so hence the divers. So I found the restaurant floor, there's a a lot of familiar brands, Texas Roadhouse, there's a Red Lobster, P.F. Chang's, a Yitali, ooh, King Caviar. And I wanted to go to this place, New Shanghai. Dubai is such an international city. There's food from all around the world. I'm missing some Chinese food, especially some soup dumplings. Soup dumpling skin looks thin. Looks like there's quite a bit of soup in here. Hmm. Whoa. 
This is a good soup dumpling. Freshly made soup dumplings, thin, thin skin, a lot of juice inside, and this is a truffle soup dumpling. Truffle flavor is huge. Mm, this is really, really good. I don't they have any hot oil. Oh my God, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Moment of silence for the pop soup dumpling. Next dish, garlic prawns with clear noodles on the bottom, some scallions and chilies. Ooh. Took the prawn out. Eat it with some of the noodles. A little heavy on the soy sauce, but the flavor of this is good. Nice hit of garlic, super flavorful. I'm just gonna add some chilies. I like the noodles on the bottom. I like the sauce. Just needs a little more heat. Mm. Mm. So much better. So this is gonna be my plan all day. Go to restaurants, get small bites of food. I was pretty lucky this place um, sells soup dumpling by force. Basically, just try as many places as possible. But so far, soup dumplings here, solid. Next food item is gonna be chicken nuggets. Apparently these are the chicken nuggets that rule over all chicken nuggets in the world because usually there's a 40 minute line just for chicken nuggets here. So give it a try, see what the hype's all about. I got two nuggets and they give you a bun. There you go. This is the chicken nuggets and the fries combo. And apparently this is what you gotta get garlic sauce and I got regular and spicy. I think this is the regular. I'm gonna taste it without the garlic sauce first. That is a deliciously unique chicken nugget. Let me show you this. Super light, crispy outer shell and it's not ultra crispy. It's got a subtle crunch to it. Inside juicy, tender piece of chicken. Try this in garlic sauce. That garlic sauce is a game changer. Mm. Oh wow, this is a very strong garlic sauce. A little, definitely goes a long way with the sauce. That is delicious. This is the spicy version of the nuggets. Get the spicy. Get the spicy. I mean, the regular is good. The spicy will blow you away. Things that sets this chicken nuggets apart from the popular alternatives, it is juicy. Again, beautiful crunch on the outside, and when you're biting into this, you know you're getting real chicken. Unlike the other place, McDonald's, <clears throat> and the nuggets are good enough on their own, especially the spicy ones, you can see the red of the chilies after you bite into this nugget. And that becomes even better once you dip into the garlic sauce. And a whole tray of nuggets and fries under $5. Yeah, no wonder there's a line in this place. Also, give me a little burger bun. If you wanna make a little chicken sandwich out of it, take out the bun, open it up. Uh, I, wish they got, I wish there was a knife to do this with. Sorry, it's such a mess. Put the spicy nuggets in there, douse it with garlic sauce, and there is your chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Nugget sandwich. Actually, throw some fries on that too, just for good measure. This is what I would call a value meal. If you're over here, definitely give this a try. At the Cocoa Melt, this is a baby dynamite. They drizzle hot chocolate over, I think, a uh, peanut shell vanilla ice cream. There's brownies on the bottom as well. This looks like a hot mess. And that's one of the highest compliments I can give to desserts. So it's basically a vanilla, caramel, peanutty popsicle on the top, brownie on the bottom, and a ton of chocolate sauce. Mmm. Been at this mall for a few hours now. I feel like if I lived here, 
I, I just be here all the time for entertainment slash exercise. I feel like there's always something new to explore. There's, I believe, four floors, uh, multiple food courts. Like I said, over 1,200 stores. There's things to see, there's things to do, tons to eat. It's just such a fun place to be. The only thing I wish I brought was um, running shoes because if you do come here make sure your shoes are comfortable oh also if you don't like to walk they actually have um i, I guess little taxis you can take so basically little carts driving around that you can you can hire or you can just do what i'm doing which is eat walk it off eat some more I think this is the first heavy meal of the day at Hookah. This place has amazing looking desserts and they give you an iPad, just order everything from here. So there's breakfast. Oh, this one is just a serving of Nutella. Cold starters, or there's hot starters, or there's popcorn dynamite shrimp. Caviar truffle baked potatoes on the grill. There's fish, wagyu steak. Wagyu tenderloin. Oh, juicy Lucy kofta? And this being Dubai, cold covered steaks. Couldn't decide, so got a mixed grill. It's a little big. So let me just show you what I mean by kind of big. It's like, like this. It's a workout just holding us up. So on this board, there's, there's pide, which is like a cheesy Turkish bread. There's chicken, sauces, cheese, lamb chops, sausages, kebabs, peppers, tomatoes, onions. This is so unbelievably beautiful. There's some uh, lakhmacun, which is a, kind of like a Turkish pizza. So it's pita with lamb on top. Start off with this little onion inside. Mm, this is really good. The bread perfectly toasty and crunchy inside. Lamb is so tender. This is really interesting. This is skewers of beef, and they also give you a chunks of beef fat. Mm, oh, that is incredibly tender and juicy. The cumin brings out the extra smokiness. Chunk of fat. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. This one. This other kebab, this is a mix of lamb and beef. You can see it's stuffed with chilies, peppers. That is amazing. Oh, that is amazing. I may like that even more. The kebab is so good. This thing just breaks apart in your mouth. It's spicy, it's smoky, it's fatty. It's got a great char on the outside. Mm, mm, mm. I think that's my favorite so far. Say goodbye to some of the onions and herbs to just kind of cleanse your palate a little bit. This is beef stuck with nuts and cheese. Oh, this is great. Tender beef. When you bite into it, you get the crunch from the nuts. You taste the herb inside. It's also super, super cheesy. Mm. With again, a perfect outer char. And that's again, provides that nice crunch, and a little different type of fat and deeper flavor. I'm trying to eat this really quick, so all the meat is at its optimal temperature when I'm biting onto it. Lamb chop, mm. lamb chop is good. I feel like it needs a little bit more salt. A little bit more salt on the lamb. Oh, that's perfect. Oh wow, even the chicken wings are amazing. Inside, so much juice. I mean, this is a traditional Turkish bread basket. This is one of my favorite things. And all the food is cooked fresh, all the bread is baked fresh. The beef shish kebab, it's just absolute perfection. I mean, every single bite. The smoke, the juice. Also, this place is known for their dessert, so gotta try one of those.
until dessert is baklava with uh, malas ice cream, which is a traditional Turkish ice cream sprinkle with pistachios. First, you get a fun show, then delicious dessert. Love baklava, ice cream is delicious. A little crunchy bits of pistachios. For some reason, I was half expecting him to sulfate something onto this thing. I don't know why. This place, a little pricey, but the food is delicious. The service is excellent. Everybody's really, really friendly. It's so accommodating. I like this place. Dinner number two is at Open Flame Kitchen, OFK. Just looking at the menu here, because I have no idea how much things should cost in this country uh, or how expensive restaurants are in this mall. Just looking at the dishes here and the prices, I think the last place is really, really expensive. I mean, the food was good, the service was excellent. So if you go, just expect to pay a lot. And we're sitting here and there's the fountain outside, probably around the same size as the Bellagio fountain in Vegas. And they have a fountain show. That's starting right now. Let's go take a look. Bring you a appetizer. It's uh, sesame, sesame chips with love note, which is like a Lebanese cream cheese dip. That's really good. Crackers themselves are already delicious. This is the Wagyu short rib dambori. Now you can see how they're separating the short rib ever so gently, and the short rib is just coming up. Heart. And this truffle in here as well. The smell of the truffle. That's freaking darn intoxicating. Oh my god. This is so freaking good. This is really, really good. Mm. Every bite of rice, you're just smacked in the face with that amazing truffle flavor. There's mushrooms in here as well, and the short rib. That thing just dissolves. Barely need to chew it. Oh wow. I think the shrub rib also is a little bit vinegary, like a tiny bit, which is perfect to balance out all that great tasting fat. Rice is also cooked so well. Might just be the best thing I had in Dubai so far. This is so amazing. I would 100% recommend this. And this dish, truffle rigatoni, shaved truffles on top. I feel like in Dubai, and this is one thing I noticed, when you're not eating traditional, local traditional foods, and you go into a more of a modern restaurant, there's a lot of truffles and a lot of Wagyu on the menu. I'm not complaining. Whoa. This restaurant is so good. The rigatoni. Perfectly cooked, perfectly al dente. The little crispies on top are so nice. Such a great textural balance from the pasta and the sauce. Mm. The sauce is so creamy, and it's inside the rigatoni. When you take a bite, the sauce just oozes out. It's almost like you're eating the gushers of the pasta world. Mm. So this is the lobster fried rice. Chunk of local golf lobster, which is more on the savory end than the sweet. And what I like about it is they, they take a bone marrow and they mix that in with the fried rice. The fried rice, it just looks like it's glistening from all that fat. Oh yeah, this is good. You definitely taste the nice, rich fat of the marrow within every single grain of the rice. The lobster is nice and scrumptious. There's crispy little veggies inside the rice. You can taste some ginger, some chilies. This dish is so delicious. And if it wasn't for the fact that I think we tried the best dish first, 
the short rib. If I didn't eat that first, I'd be freaking out about this lobster fry rice right now. But the short rib rice is so good. Everything else, even though it's really, really good, all I'm thinking about is the short rib truffle rice. Yeah, this restaurant, if you're looking for delicious food with a beautiful view, and I mean really delicious food at pretty fair prices, this is the place to go. I mean, I would recommend if you're in Dubai, come get that short rib rice. That was just, I'll be thinking about that for a while. I figure end of the day, Hit up the aquarium, take a look. That's close. This aquarium is crazy. You can you can dive with the shark. It's just ginormous. All right, next time. Heading out for the night. And this is the taxi line. So all, and it's all back there. It's about a 30, 40 minute wait for a cab. I really hope I'm not in the line for the bathroom. This city, it's just so beautiful. Good morning. I gotta say, I haven't been to a mall in a long time and I haven't really enjoyed going to a mall in a long, long time. But this mall is beautiful. I mean, the aquarium itself just makes your jaw drop. Also, I love the blend of luxury shops and the whole traditional souk area. And the food there is amazing. The soup dumplings are good. The Japanese restaurant I went to last night, mind blowing. Yeah, some places are a little overpriced. Some places are extremely overpriced. <laughs> it's pretty much every single mall. Uh, so anyway, today you're gonna go back there because last night I didn't get to see the aquarium. Uh, but this is gonna be more of a personal day. Just enjoy the mall, walk around, go to the aquarium, eat some food. And not really gonna record anything, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, I'll see you later.